This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading John chapter 17, verses 1 to 13, and concentrate on the verse that's often overlooked, and that is verse 4. It goes like this, I glorified thee on earth, having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. I glorified thee on earth, having accomplished, having finished the work which you, that's God, gave me to do. Well, I think this would make a very good inscription upon a gravestone of a Christian. I have glorified thee on earth, having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. And there you finish your life. So let's have a quick look at it. First of all, glorifying God, glorifying him with the life that you live. Living a life where the incarnation, the cross and the resurrection are the very centre of your life. Where you are filled with self-giving love for those people who are around you and from them, as it were, through Samaria and into all the world, even unto the very ends of it. But first of all, loving all of those people, making the Incarnation, the Cross and the Resurrection what actually fires you up and makes you you. And from you then pours out love for everybody else and everything else for that matter because the whole of creation groans with eager longing. And then accomplished the work, accomplished it. Well, bringing that redemption, bringing it to the world in which you live. Your world might be on a huge stage encompassing the entire world, or the world might be your own household, or those people immediately around you, your flatmate, your roommate, the person you share a room with at college or university, or your brother or your sister that you have to share a bedroom with. Or it could be, of course, a whole nation, or even a great, greater and larger stage than that. Bringing redemption to that, Christ's saving love. And living yourself Within the Holy Spirit, we've turned our eyes now to look towards the time of the Holy Spirit, to look towards Pentecost, becoming sanctified by Christ, becoming sanctified through the working of the Holy Spirit, becoming a holy person. And that is not to be sniffed at. Sometimes the idea of being holy most people think that is a priggish and unpleasant person, actually. But a holy person is somebody who exudes love and a deep joy. When they turn their eyes on themselves, they might be downcast. But when they look elsewhere, they're filled with joy and hope. Completing those tasks that God gave you to do. They might be simple tasks, or they might be great things, but everybody has tasks that God himself has given them to do, and he's given you the gifts in order to do them. The question is, are you going to get on with it? But those tasks relate directly to the things we said already, glorifying God, bringing his redemption to those around you. And of course, living in the joy of Christ, being somebody who is filled with that presence of Christ that shows them the way into heaven. And as before, not keeping this joy to yourself, 
but allowing it to spread to those who are around you. So think carefully what you want written on your tombstone. Here lies a miserable, old, pious bag. <laughs> or here's someone who glorified God on earth and finished the work that God gave him or her to do. Your prayers. God bless you. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.